Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are all fine i welcome all of you once again after a long gap as you have qualified your previous grade examination of 6th standard and now you are in 7th standard i congratulate all of you in this very new standard today in this lecture i want to give you a brief introduction about the contents of biology which we are going to discuss in this session inshallah as you can see my dear students the first chapter that's tissue is given in the contents in this very chapter we will study about different tissues of living organisms that's plants and animals particularly as you know life of every living organism starts from a cell in case of a cellular or unicellular organisms there is present just a single cell which performs all the physiological role while in case of multicellular organisms they are present different cells and they form different tissues the aggregation and interaction of cells having the same origin and function gives rise to a tissue and in case of animals we have to study four different types of tissues in details that's epithelial tissue nervous tissue connective tissue and muscular tissue likewise in case of plants they are also living organisms and they also possess tissues in plants we have to study meristematic tissues and permanent tissues okay now moving towards the second chapter that's living world classification as the name suggests here we have to focus on classification because when we classify living organisms into groups or categories this makes their study simpler and easier in this very chapter we will be dealing with robert whitaker's system of classification in which he classified the whole life into five kingdoms that's kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia okay these two chapters you have to study in your u1 syllabus now we will give introduction about other chapters also the third chapter that's plant life here you have to focus on the nutrition of plants that's autotrophic mode of nutrition and the process by which green plants synthesize their own food material that's photosynthesis you have to discuss photosynthesis and respiration of plants in this very chapter moving towards fourth chapter that's human excretory system as you know it's one of the main physiological systems of human beings it performs the role of removal of waste nitrogenous waste substances from our body in this chapter we will be dealing with different organs their structure and their physiological role and problems related with excretory system that's urinary tract infection and kidney stones okay fifth chapter that's human nervous system as you all know that there are two controlling systems in our body that's endocrine system and nervous system collectively form neuroendocrine system while brain is the controlling center of our body in this very chapter we will study about the structure of nervous system that's central nervous system peripheral nervous system and its physiological role the final chapter that's allergy here we will focus on immune system and the different types of antibodies produced by that very system we will discuss the concept of allergy and the things about which we are allergic we will study about different types of allergies that's seasonal allergies and perennial allergies so these six chapters are included in your biology syllabus of 7th standard inshallah we will be taking off all these chapters in details in our future lectures thank you